there is growing pressure on the Mills administration to make more changes to the state's child welfare system. Senator Bill Diamond says that's the reason he's been walking this week to cities and towns where children have died from child abuse, even though some of their families were already in the DHHS system. Today's portion of the walk began where the decisions are made. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan reports. After years in the legislature, Bill Diamond says his time at the State House is running out. I've got one year left in my legislative seat. And so he's walking, trying one more time to force changes to the state's child welfare system. If this really here is my last chance after 20 years to really hopefully make an impact on what we're going to be able to do to make that system work better than it is now. The walk began in Old Town, where a child was killed by his mother in June. Then to other cities and towns where kids like Marissa Kennedy, Kendall Chick, and Maddox Williams were killed. Today on other roads, joined by other legislators and friends like Ron Bay. It may never be perfect, but it certainly can be improved. Diamond says Maine's child welfare system is not doing enough to make sure kids are not abused. He brought his group to Chelsea, where Logan Marr was killed 20 years ago. They were telling us, they being the administration, the department then, that, that things were, we're going to make this better, we're going to improve it. And we've heard the same thing every time a child dies. Diamond tried earlier this year to have the legislature split the Office of Child and Family Services away from DHHS to become its own state agency, but not enough lawmakers supported it. Now, more may be listening including Republican Representative Jeff Hanley. Find a way to get complete oversight so none of these children uh, the, in the future are ever put in this situation that these kids have been put in. And Democratic Senator Craig Hickman, who said he was abused himself as a child in another state. We'll be making sure that on my watch uh, we can hold the people who are in charge of the welfare of our children accountable for making it better. Maine DHHS says the system has gotten better with more staff, more training, and better supervision. In a written statement saying the death of a child is a tragic loss for the state and that the system is currently being reviewed by the national experts at Casey Family Programs to evaluate department policies and practices. Senator Diamond said again today that study is a good step but also insists it is not enough. The whole purpose of this entire, uh, the entire two days was to bring attention to the children who are under state care who are dying and being murdered, either murdered or being allegedly murdered as, as the case this last June and August. So this is a situation that's not getting any better. Diamond says he'll push the legislature one more time, hoping to force lasting change. Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. Now, the legislature's OPEGA agency is also doing its own investigation of those recent child deaths and looking into whether the current system needs change. It's expected to have that report ready in January.